What's up boys, it's CG taking out the GT3 for a little lap Need a little love, uh, pressure, tires, everything She was a little bit pissed off, the Lambo was outside um, Yeah, you know, Germans and Italian I guess they don't get along together Especially talking about supercars Let's talk. I have a feeling we have to talk. Um, let's look back at the 2017 best trip of the year. Definitely a tough one. I mean, New Zealand start, unbelievable, great, because it was just like cool people, like the 50 to 1, uh, some of the enduro guys, uh, myself uh, going to New Zealand for crankworks. And just uh, you know, hanging out with a young crew and going camping. Uh, let's say that last time I camped, I was probably six or seven years old with parents. Then I'm going to clean the going to clean. Yeah. yeah, six. I was six or seven with parents. Then you know, going camping with your parents, it's a lot easier when you're not going to sleep and where you know where you're going to eat and where you're going. In our trip, we basically was going day by day to a spot. You know, uh, setting up the tents. Uh, we had the crew cooking. We was hanging out in the bus of uh, Jimmy Nico. It was just unbelievable from 1960. Well, I basically told my boys like I don't know if I can do that really. And after a couple of days, I definitely feel so good. Feels so awesome. We're just waiting on one guy who is doing uh, I don't know I don't know what he's doing with his truck. And I loved it, but. Definitely want to do it again, but what I like the most, I think, this year is doing those road trips in the uh, in the um, Dolomite with the definitely air crew. I liked like old guys, Richie Schley, uh, Ale de Lula. I mean, it's a tough one. One was chill, the other one was more pedaling and more roots, sleeping outside and. Uh, and the other one, a beautiful mountain. I don't say that New Zealand was not beautiful. It's probably one of the most, most beautiful country I've ever been. But that's what I say, it's tough. I, we have to take, call it even, with being roots on the camper, one month out in New Zealand, don't know where we're going, riding different trails every day, and going full on expedition in Dolomite with my boys then definitely been a, a blast you know after racing you know you go everywhere around the world you see beautiful trails but you don't see as much because you get focused on racing this time I had time to enjoy the country enjoy the food and enjoy the people then uh, yeah it was unbelievable year I came three times I came uh, sorry I went three times to the Dolomite and after I came back to Andorra and that's where I realized and I know it's not a trip because I live in Andorra but look at this place I mean it's a sick beautiful place we have an Indian summer right now tough I've been riding all around the world with beautiful places but all we have to say I learned a lot more about myself like I say I didn't know I could camp now I can camp Definitely not so good on building a tent. You can ask Josh Bryceland. He had to take care of that because I was busy <laughs> doing the vlogs. And uh, just being able to share, that's what I like about this sport, with people who are a lot younger than me. And uh, at the end of the day, we just relate to the same thing. It's just like uh, riding bikes and have fun and try to share with you guys. Well, that's it. That was uh, today. <laughs> The topic of the day, what was the best trip of the year? Uh, we have to say New Zealand and Dolomites because we cannot count Val Nord as a destination for me because I live there. But for you, for sure, definitely a beautiful destination. The bike park is sick, people are rad, really good food, beautiful landscape, horses everywhere, cows. I mean, we have everything. We have from campings to hotels to beautiful restaurant and uh, really accessible in price. Then. Uh, Viva Andorra, this is home, but definitely enjoy New Zealand and Dolomites. That was the topic of the day. 
best spot of the year for me to go and it was a lot of them thank you so much for following don't forget to subscribe and see the channel Sada Gracia on YouTube and uh, don't hesitate to give me topics to talk about I will definitely do a video to tell you what I think about uh, the topic you want to talk about and there we go I'm going for a little lap for the GT3 now with the beautiful Andorra she needed a little love because lately I was riding the Panda <laughs> Then uh, the German lady was a little bit sad. She didn't want to start. All right, boys, have a good one. See you later.